We are the IDP camp in Adoka, where the displaced people of Umogiri are residing. We are here to supervise and to cover the relief, sharing of relief materials to the victims. I'm Dr. Ben Aliku from Equipping the Needy Initiative uh, Nigeria, supported by the Equipping the Persecuted. Uh, it's our mandate, and we agree with friends and partners that every attack in the Middle Belt region of Nigeria will be there to help our brothers and our sisters with medication, uh, with medical intervention, food stuff, uh, toiletries. At times, accommodation, surgeries, hospital treatment, as as we can. So uh, that when we heard of what is happening, what I see your video that you sent, and you say we'll be here to help the people of uh, Otuko in Adoka here. So that is why we are here. All the attacks during the lockdown period were available in all the camps within the Middle Belt. Even Borno will be there to help the IDPs, the displaced persons. But most importantly, we ask God to touch the hearts of men and women so that peace will be restored. As you can see, all these people should go back to their homes and to engage in their normal day-to-day -day business. Those that need to go to school should go back to school. That is our prayers. The host communities are very appreciative. Uh, because nobody that needs help, you come to help, we say no. And, and so, even though some camps, uh, initially they will take us as if those they are coming to defraud them, to take picture and to lie. But when they discover that, when we say we are coming, we are actually coming. Hello there, Batina, Chano Chele Boy on my Bobby and Good Jesus, let go. Bobby and Good Jesus, let go. Reverend Dominic Alancha, uh, we are here today by the courtesy of uh, Equipping the Needy Initiatives. It is an initiative that intervenes, you know. Uh, by helping the less privileged uh, displaced persons uh, within the north central of Nigeria, Nigeria at large. So given the unfortunate incident that happened uh, within our uh, two local government, somewhere along I mean, the village, we are here today in Adoka, uh, where there is this IDP to intervene by bringing them uh, some food items, by bringing them some mattresses, bed sheets, uh, and other relief materials. And of course, uh, doing a medical intervention for those that are not too very strong, you know, uh, in the IDP. So I think basically that is why we are here today. And uh, courtesy Dr. Pastor Ben Aliku, uh, who is the pioneer or the convener of the equipping the needy with the help of some foreigners uh, from the US, you know, who have been intervening whenever there are crises or situations like this. So we thank God, but most importantly, is the fact that the gospel is also being preached. Uh, if you see today, we have had a, a lot of harvest of soul, many that have never met Christ, have received Jesus Christ today in their heart as their Lord, and their personal savior. So uh, it's quite commendable. My prayer is that this kind of affliction will not occur again uh, within uh, the North Central region, uh, Benue State in particular. And I wish to call on government to intervene in the areas of security. Our communities are so ungoverned. There is no presence of police. There is no presence of uh, security agencies. I mean, there's need for more intelligence gathering to nip some of these 
occurrences on board before they happen. So the, the communities within Benue State and Idoma land precisely are so porous because there is no security. So we want to call on the government to ensure that there is provision of security for these people so that these people can be, go back to their communities. As I speak with you, a lot of them, their livelihood has been taken from them. Majority of them are farmers, they are traders, they are subs in fact subsistence farming is what they are engaging. Now they cannot go back to their farm as a result of this full enhancement crisis that have displaced them from their villages. So I want to call on the government to please, it's, this is a matter of urgency, to ensure that this farmer's head crisis is nipped on the board. There is no need for us to begin to have some of these crises often and on, you know. So it's very, very unfortunate that people are here, most of them are sleeping in this classroom, open to mosquito and uh, mosquito bite and all of that. So we are here today and thank, the, I want to use this opportunity to thank the Equipping the Needy Initiatives for this timely intervention, you know, to our people. So thank you very much. That's why we are here. Aloima Bamwa, Aloma Chojetil, Alojeje, Uake Wanya, Anuake Ame in Yukalo, Anuake Jetil Aloa, Ayan Alobiko Tua, O Choko Babulua, or Dadunu Abia, O Nuko Babulua, O Choko Lofutua, Wang Makoyan Waya, Wale Yachaba, Yakuale Koyame, or Choko Tuanga, Danea Dini Baby, Ron Wayoya, O Jaloi Pay. Hello, <laughs> Well, <laughs> I am Mrs. Christiana Arams Jackson and I work for Equipping the Needy Initiative Nigeria. We have a bigger partner that is Equipping the Persecuted Incorporation in US. They are our bigger partners. So we are here as you can see in Adoka in Otupo, one of the IDP camp, where the people who have been displaced out of their ancestral home as a result of terrorist attack, the Fulani people, are all encamped. And as you can see, we are here to attend to them, giving them relief materials and also attending to their health and medical needs. That is why we are here today. The response here has been very, very encouraging. As you can see, the crowd all over, they are all around. Some of them with medical challenges. Some of them is just hunger, you know, which is the normal thing. Once you are displaced out of your home, the next thing is that the stomach is reacting and there is no food out there because if it were in your home, Anyhow, you have something to eat, but out, you are left under the mercy of the people and of God. And so the challenge, major challenge we are having with the people here, apart from their health challenges, is that of hunger. And that is why we have come with some food stuff to assist them. The number is so large. What we have might not go around everybody. And even if it goes around, it might just be a day's ration. So after we leave here, what happened again? is a very big challenge. That is why we are calling on well-meaning individual, philanthropists, government agencies and power started, non-governmental organizations, religious organizations. So please look into the 
problem, the plight of these internally displaced people and see how we can lend a helping hand. If we are here today, tomorrow another organization comes, the next day another organization, it will go a long way to assist these people. My pain here is when I look around and I see the lot of children that are all over here. These children, as at this moment, they are supposed to be in school, but they cannot go to school because of the situation they find themselves, which is a basic thing. And you know, they are the leaders of tomorrow. If they are not educated, the greatest investment that these children can have today is that of education. So when they don't have the opportunity because they are thrown out of their homes, it becomes a challenge. The question is, what happened to their future? What happened to their tomorrow? That is why I, uh, it's really something that is giving me concern in my heart. And I wish that God will help us so that we can find a way of mitigating this impact of lack of school dropout and other things among these children. <laughs> Odan kadoko poka kole mapa TV alabo date no ya haje kabolona ku YouTube wa abona labo doa owo chuge ho ha chu